How's it going boys? It's me, your favorite Snake Souls merchant, and today we're gonna be talking about BLM. Oh yes, and no, not for the classic reasons of they are inciting riots or burning down properties or doing other stupid shit. No, this time it's even better. The founder and leader, well one of them, of BML has bought a 1.4 million mansion. Oh yes, and she's a Marxist. You know, if you do not know what Marxism is, I'm gonna, like, summarize it real quick, real simple for you. It's the concept that people should not own expensive shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, that, that gives a good chuckle, right? The per a person who believes that people should not own expensive shit buys a 1.4 million mansion. Oh yeah, and the best part is, it's in a, well, you guessed it, completely white neighborhood. <laughs> Like, 90% of the inhabitants of that neighborhood are white, 1% of them, or one point something, is black and the rest is pretty much Asian or something. Oh yes, you got a BML activist <laughs> who refuses even to live with other blacks in a community because goddamn reasons, I guess. Oh, it is hilarious. But what do you expect from BL uh, BLM? Well, probably nothing. The only people that uh, support BLM are white people who like to virtue signal but actually don't do anything and secretly are way more the most extreme racists you will ever see. And and, and black people who literally just want to uh, rob stores, burn buildings and do other shit. Like, obviously there are subnormal people who support BLM, but the, more, the, the actual normal people understand that black lives matter but they don't they but they don't support bml blm because well if you look at the movement and what it does it's it's pretty much just synonymous with inciting riots burning down things and making life for normal people harder and then getting a bunch of donations and pocketing all that money because god fucking knows in an organization like blm uh, not a single person has ever uh, even heard the word accounting. So stealing money from that is probably the most simplest thing ever. Also, this is not the first time that someone may or may not have stole money from BLM. Because those accusations pop up every time. If, if there's a new BLM page on, on Facebook or wherever, you, 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 pro you probably are right to assume if you're donating to that place. Well, the money is going into someone's pocket and not doing anything. Now, I'm sure BLM has helped some black folks somewhere, a, a region, a city, or a community, or whatever. Uh, but everyone pretty much unanimously at this point understands and should, uh, should understand that, well, they don't exactly do anything with the money, but help themselves. 1.4 million. If she can buy a house for 1.4 million in a snazzy neighborhood full of rich white people, then I'm, I'm assuming instantaneously that, well, mission accomplished. They have helped every single black person in America who needs help getting help. Oh, wait, no, they probably 100% haven't. Like, the last time I heard BML help someone was approximately never. Again, not a single sane human being supports the movement of BML monetarily or even through Facebook or whatever other means. Everyone normal understands that that is a shit show that is a detriment to almost any place they, uh, they pop up into. Well, but obviously that's not understandable for some, so there you have it. Well, I'm sure we're gonna sooner or later hear more stories about B the, B the leadership of uh, BLM doing more shady things, because let's be honest, like, how do you n buy a 1.4 million mansion and think you're gonna get away with this? Because people are gonna be furious. At the bare minimum, she should be saying, it's not my house, it's our house, comrades. But that's probably also not happening. Hey, I did not read this, but I would not be surprised if she bought a house in a gated community and not a single other, uh, normal BML supporter was going to be able to get in there. Because, well, no. J j just no. She's living the rich life now. And that's pretty much it. She's really living the rich right now. BLM served, served its cause. She got the money. 
she bagged it, she tagged it, and now she can buy her herself nice things. And this is probably not the first time uh, she has embezzled money. I'm saying embezzled, but that's only my opinion, by the way. We have no proof of that, because let's be honest, all BML donations are probably untraceable things, because there is absolutely no accounting towards it. I don't think BML is, uh, BLM is even registered as like an actual organization, or is it? I'm not sure. But I'm sure if someone will look into it, they're gonna see a major, uh, major load of problems that, you know, uh, kind of rhyme with the words eruption. So yeah, this is gonna be interesting. Because again, when something like this gets known, that the leader of a organization that's supposed to help black people and black communities around the country, uh, just goes ahead and buys a 1.4 mil mansion, <laughs> I can't even buy it in a black community? <laughs> then it's gonna be bad. Sooner or later, someone's gonna look into this, how they are spending monies, and some liar is gonna be like, I smell an opportunity for a massive lawsuit of embezzlement. Oh yes, and then it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Just give it time. Just, just give it time. Like, the media can't forever pretend that B uh, BLM doesn't burn down buildings, doesn't doesn't rob stores and incite violence and riots. They, 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 they physically can't do it forever. Let's face it, with Joey Biden, president, they, they can't complain about Trump every day. So sooner or later they're gonna start to complain about something. Admittedly, they're currently making Joey into li well, literal Jesus. Not even actually overstating that. Literal Jesus. Because he fell down the stairs like three times and that's something like Jesus did or something like that. Not 100% sure, but it's getting insane. It's getting really insane to the point of, well, this is not exactly funny anymore, even for the people outside of the US. It's kind of getting like a bit sad, but hey, Still can get a laugh in here or there. Anyway, if you supported and donated to BLM, the hell were you thinking? The hell were you thinking? That money was better spent on giving a cracked addict crack. <laughs> anyway, this 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 was good. Or said said. Thanks for watching. Support. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything. Have a nice day. Bye bye.